First Tribal Government Symposium hosted by the University of Alaska Fairbanks College of Rural and Community Development, the University of Arizona Native Nations Institute, the Tanana Chiefs Conference, and the Casey Family Programs will be held this week. Jessica Black, Assistant Professor of Tribal Management and Alaska Native Studies and Rural Development, says there are many relevant topics to be discussed at the gathering. Tribal child welfare, governance and wellness, public safety, constitutions. So all the topics that tribes deal with from every single day will be represented here at the conference. Not only that, Black says the symposium will also include important topics that could help tribal governments to better serve their people. And a lot of the conference is around nation building, which is, it basically refers to how Native nations increase their capacity Uh, for self-determination, community sustainability, and economic development. Including important tribal leaders and elders, Black says attendees can expect big players and experts at the two-day gathering. Some of the keynotes are Stephen Cornell from the Native Nations Institute, uh, Richard Peterson from the Central Council of Clinkett and Haida Indian Tribes of Alaska, and Jack Trope with the Casey Family Programs. While there are many topics for conference goers to choose from, the main purpose of the symposium is to examine how healthy tribes can benefit all Alaskans and to hear from Alaska's more than 200 tribes about the issues facing their tribal communities. Black says she hopes tribes will answer the call and participate. They will be welcome. Just would love to have representation from across the state. We know that tribal governments and tribal communities are working hard every day and we want to hear from these communities and people, and we want to honor the work that they do. This will be the second symposium hosted by UAF. Last year, the topic was on co-management of resources. More than 200 tribal representatives, elders, leaders, and the like are expected to take part in the Tribal Government Symposium Tuesday through Thursday at the Westmark Hotel in Fairbanks. Doors open from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on all three days. In Bethel, I'm Charles Enoch. More than 200 tribal leaders will gather in Fairbanks next week to discuss issues facing Native communities around the state. The three-day tribal government symposium begins Tuesday at UAF. The issues will include economic development, child welfare, and tribal governance, according to Gay UK. The University of Alaska Fairbanks College of Rural and Community Development is hosting the event, along with the Tanana Chiefs Conference, the University of Arizona's Native Nations Institute, and the Casey Family Programs. This is the second symposium hosted by UAF. Well, in Fairbanks, a tribal government symposium is expected to draw 200 leaders from around the state to discuss topics facing Native nations like child welfare. welfare. KYUK AM reports representatives, elders, leaders, and others will meet tomorrow through Thursday. Economic development and other nation-building endeavors will also be discussed. The symposium will be the second hosted by the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Last year, that topic was management of resources. From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is the Fairbanks Evening News. Now when we come back, the Tribal Government Symposium kicks off at the Westmark tomorrow. Welcome back. The Tribal Government Symposium kicks off at the Westmark Hotel tomorrow. The symposium will be an opportunity for people to learn about current issues facing Alaska and its more than 200 federally recognized tribes. The event will reportedly examine how healthy Alaska Native tribes benefit the entire state. It will focus on how Native communities can increase their capacity for self-government in hopes to connect Alaska Native leaders. The gathering is expected to draw more than 200 people and runs from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow through Thursday at the Westmark. The symposium is expected to have several keynote speakers as well as panels of UAF professors, tribal leaders, elders, and Alaska Native corporation leaders. Topics will include nation building, tribal sovereignty, and integrating traditional culture into tribal governance. Keeping an eye on the interior.
News 13 starts now. Good evening. Today is Monday, November 14th, 2016. Thank you for joining us. The Tribal Government Symposium kicks off at the Westmark Hotel tomorrow. The symposium will be an opportunity for people to learn about current issues facing Alaska and its more than 200 federally recognized tribes. The event will reportedly examine how healthy Alaska Native tribes benefit the entire state. It will focus on how Native communities can increase their capacity for self-government and hopes to connect Alaska Native leaders. The gathering is expected to draw more than 200 people and runs from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow through Thursday at the Westmark. The symposium is expected to have several keynote speakers as well, panels of UAF professors, tribal leaders, elders, and Alaska Native Corporation leaders. Topics will include nation building, tribal sovereignty, and integrating traditional culture into tribal governance. From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is the Fairbanks Evening News. Also, more than 300 Alaskans filled the Gold Room at the Westmark Hotel for the Tribal Government Symposium today. Stay with us. Welcome back. Looking within and self-governing was one of the topics at the Tribal Government Symposium that took place earlier today in Fairbanks. More than 300 Alaskans filled the Gold Room at the Westmark Hotel. One of the keynote speakers, Stephen Cornell, Cornell rather, has spent his last 30 years working with Indigenous nations and organizations all over the world. He spoke during the symposium about how Indigenous people have been focused on regaining their rights and land through the government and the court system. He said tribes across the nation are beginning to look within and are starting to self-govern on certain issues. According to Cornell's studies, this way of looking within has brought a new success to Indigenous people. That research shows in a very robust fashion that empowering indigenous communities to solve some of these challenges themselves is actually productive and has a better track record than the efforts by other governments to address those issues. So it's important because it works and because it may uh, offer a way forward not just for, for Alaska natives but for the state as a whole uh, in creating a, an environment in which whether you're native or non-native, you can thrive. Good evening. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, 2016. Thank you for joining us. I'm Missy Kohler. I'm Jamie Schwartzwald, and this is News 13. Keeping an eye on the interior, News 13 starts now. Looking within to self-govern was one of the topics at the Tribal Government Symposium that took place earlier today here in Fairbanks. More than 300 Alaskans filled the gold room of the Westmark Hotel. One of the keynote speakers, Stephen Cornell, has spent the last 30 years working with indigenous nations and organizations all over the world. He spoke during the symposium about how indigenous people have been focused on regaining their rights and land through the government and the court system. He says tribes across the nation are beginning to look within and are starting to self-govern on certain issues. According to Cornell's studies, this way of looking within has brought a new success to indigenous people. That research shows in a very robust fashion that empowering indigenous communities to solve some of these challenges themselves is actually productive and has a better track record than the efforts by other governments to address those issues. So it's important because it works and because it may uh, offer a way forward, not just for, for Alaska natives, but for the state as a whole uh, in creating a, an environment in which, whether you're native or non-native, you can thrive. Good morning with KUAC News. I'm Dan Bross. Alaska Native leaders from across the state are gathering in Fairbanks for a Tribal Self-Governance Symposium. The three-day event is sponsored by the University of Alaska Fairbanks, the University of Arizona, the Tananaw Chiefs Conference, and the Casey Foundation. One of the organizers, UAF Assistant Professor of Tribal Management, Carrie Stevens, says the symposium grew out of a similar tribal gathering in Fairbanks last fall on co-management efficient game. We had over 200 participants at that historic event. It was very successful. 
And from that event, uh, there was a request by Native Nations Institute uh, at the University of Arizona to hold this event. Stevens says the symposium aims to identify ways Alaska tribes can strengthen their governments. Another symposium organizer, UAF Associate Professor of Tribal Management, Kevin Illingworth, points to recent years' agreements with the state on several fronts. Child protection has definitely been a key area that we've seen a lot of, of collaboration happening Um, We're also seeing collaboration and partnership happening in working with with youth um, and also in the broad area of public safety. One avenue by which Alaska tribes can expand jurisdiction is placing lands into federal trust. Trust status in Alaska was affirmed by a federal court ruling this summer, but Stevens says tribes are already well aware of the potential. The first case regarding land into trust was in the 90s here in Alaska, and so it's been discussed for decades. And I think that a lot of tribes are uh, well aware of the pluses and minuses of land into trust and that it is seen as one tool to help benefit the well-being of tribal membership. The Tribal Governance Symposium, which includes keynote addresses and roundtable discussions, runs today through Thursday at the Westmark Hotel in downtown Fairbanks. Alaska Native leaders from across the state are gathered in Fairbanks for a tribal self-governance symposium. The three-day event is sponsored by University of Alaska Fairbanks, the University of Arizona, the Tanana Chiefs Conference, and the Casey Foundation. One of the organizers, UAF Assistant Professor of Tribal Management, Carrie Stevens, says the symposium grew out of a similar tribal gathering in Fairbanks last fall on co-management of fish and game. We had over 200 participants at that historic event. It was very successful. And from that event, um, there was a request by Native Nations Institute uh, at the University of Arizona to hold this event. Stephen says the symposium aims to identify ways Alaska tribes can strengthen their governments. And another organizer, UAF Associate Professor of Tribal Management Kevin Illingworth, points to recent years' agreements with the state on several fronts. Child protection has definitely been a key area that we've seen a lot of of collaboration happening. Um, We're also seeing collaboration and partnership happening in working with, with youth, Um, and also in the broad area of public safety. Another avenue by which Alaska tribes can expand jurisdiction is placing lands into federal trust. Trust status in Alaska was affirmed by a federal court ruling this summer, but Stephen says tribes are already well aware of the potential. The first case regarding land into trust was in the 90s here in Alaska, and so it's been discussed for decades And I think that a lot of tribes are uh, well aware of the pluses and minuses of land into trust and that it is seen as one tool to help benefit the well-being of tribal membership. The Tribal Governance Symposium, which includes keynote addresses and roundtable discussions, runs through Thursday. From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, November 16th, 2016. And self-governing was one of the topics at the Tribal Government Symposium that took place yesterday in Fairbanks. More than 300 Alaskans filled the gold room at the Westmark Hotel. One of the keynote speakers, Stephen Cornell, has spent his last 30 years working with indigenous nations and organizations all over the world. He said tribes across the nation are beginning to look within and are starting to self-govern on certain issues, which is bringing new success to indigenous people. 